Hi, this is an Ableton Live 9 tutorial, known as tutorial number three, exporting files. So let's just get right over there to Ableton. Let's assume that you've been working and working on your fantastic composition and uh, you think it's all sounding pretty good. We'll let that run as some background music there. No, not to be distracting. Um, and you're ready to save it in a music format. Um, let's stop that for a second. This is relatively simple to do. These um, bars up here, these brackets that you've been using for looping and to define your workspace are the trick here. Let's go right to your brackets and make sure that they go to the ends of your music and you can um, you know, uh, check and make sure you've got space there. If you need to, if you feel like worried about this, you can grab this whole bar or grab everything, select everything, and move it over so that you have the ability to start this larger than um, than it than than it was. So now your bracket is here, so you have a little bit of rolling space. Okay, and now I'm going to back out, whoops, go the other way, and go to the end, and make sure that this comes all the way to the end of the music, and if you want to, again, you could adjust that out and give it a little roll out space, depending on what your use for the music is, but uh, um, this bracket is the thing that will define what is exported when you export it, okay? so. I'm going to also just adjust this a little bit to give my reverbs and all that time to die out. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just zoom in on that until we get some, and we can see that this actually stops with plenty of time. So I'm, I'm good with that. But if you needed to adjust it then, you could go like this way or that way and make it exactly what you wanted. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom, zoom back here, make sure, whoops, make sure my brackets are in the right place, there we go, and um, I've already checked my levels, we're just going to assume you've already done that, your piece is great, as it is, levels look fantastic, and you're going to export it, so go up to the file, click export audio video and then here you want to make sure that it's rendering out the master unless you're trying to save individual tracks and then pay close attention to where it starts and where it finishes these are the bars um, beats and uh, ticks are they called? bars, beats and ticks and um, you're not going to render it as a loop now you can decide whether you want the AIFF wave file I think you have some other options like a flac file in uh, in 10 but uh, we're just uh, you know diddling around in nine still uh, sample rate we've got 96 thousand that's great um, if you're just putting something out for a CD or something 441 is the standard but as long as you're just saving it as a sound file, it's up to you. 44100, that is your typical CD quality. And then these days, depending on what you're going to do with it, you might want to save it at a higher rate. We like 96,000 because that's really nice. Um, I won't go into the bit depth and dither options uh, just now, but uh, then you can also uh, do this other stuff. It's appropriate, it's not in this case and then you just click the export button and away it goes. Decide where you're going to save it, um, maybe to your music folder, maybe your Ableton folder. Um, I'm going to save it to my music folder because it's not really an Ableton project anymore and in my music folder I have things that I've uh, recorded in here but I'm just going to record it in the music since it's a tutorial. What the heck. I'm just going to record it to the music folder. And there we go. Save. And it renders it. 
And very shortly you will have your very own music file that you can send off to an agent and become fabulously popular. So there you go. That's really it in a nutshell. And if we go to the finder now and look under music, there's our AIF file. And with a Mac, you can just hit your spacebar. And there it is. So nice. Well, that's really it for today. A fairly simple tutorial and just one to help you output the music that you have in, in live. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.